Hi there! Tonight I'm going to talk about a really good book named Identity and Violence. This book is on the top 20 list of the best book I've ever read, and it is the by far best book I've read recently. In this book, Amir Tassen totally destroys the idea of clash of civilizations, and he explains why it's a bad idea to divide people into two groups. His main argument is that each person belongs not to one category, does not have one identity, but several categories, several identities. This is the same thing as intersectionality, although he doesn't use that word. But his main point there is that with these overlapping categorizations, society's one big intersecting mesh where everybody are connected. When we pretend that one categorization is so much more important than all other categorizations, that this identity would be people's singular identity. Then we divide people and we lay the groundwork for hatred and genocide. This is the main reason why the concept of clash of civilizations is a nonsense concept. You can't really divide people like that. But Sen also gave us two other very good reasons. First of all, just like you can't divide people, you can't divide countries either. A country doesn't have one category of people, it has all kinds of people. For example, Huntington's book The Clash of Civilizations defined India as a Hindu civilization. Being Indian himself, Sen talks quite a bit about what nonsense this is. How India have lots of atheists and Muslims and so on in present day society and throughout history. And history is where we get the third reason for why the concept of clash of civilizations is nonsense. Just like categories of people intersect each other and countries are full of people of all kinds of categories, history is one big intersecting mesh as well. It is true, as Huntington and other chauvinists claim, that the Enlightenment movement and the democracy movement started in Europe in the 1700s. But they didn't come out of nowhere. They built on ideas with global roots. Science, democracy, human rights, they all have roots all over the world. Roots tangled together and intersecting each other. Western countries like France and the USA have done great achievements in the past, but that doesn't mean that they somehow have a monopoly on all achievements. Their ideas did not spring out of nowhere. I will not go into details very much. You will have to read the book for yourself. I strongly recommend this book. There's one little problem with the book. that He talks about categories of people and identities as if this was the same thing, as if it was interchangeable. I can really see where he's coming from because these two concepts do intersect each other a lot. 
it is pretty much so that anything that is a categorization can be an identity and everything that is an identity can be a categorization. But it doesn't have to be that way. And that's why I personally recommend the word catete instead. It's a combination of the word categorization and the word identity. And that's all I have to say for now. Live long and prosper.